welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna to be showcasing um my masks from uh like oldest to newest that I've made so okay let's go so first we have Rockstar Bonnie he's kind of goofy looking he was my first mask that I've made um so the inside of the head is just cardboard and then the outside his like the outside is just paper mache his eyes are made of foam and there's duct tape holding it in I see through the snout I don't know how this will work really well because I can't really see myself but I'm going to put it on so I don't know how the well the camera can see me but hmm. so there's that I had another one. It was Grim Foxy, but I gave it to my little cousin because I made it just for him. But next off, we have Circus Baby, kind of. I mean, I just gave up on her. She was going to be my sister's, but I honestly gave up. I have another piece somewhere that was supposed to go on the outside. So, I mean, I, we have a fun time endo. Kind of. I'll go ahead and put this away. Uh, the next one's good. It's a also one I kind of gave up. It was gonna be my friend. Friends, it's withered Bonnie. So just got the face. I think the teeth are pretty cool on this guy. It's little teeth. I just used pink for the eyes, because that's the only thing I, re I didn't really want to go searching for some red. Red's a little dented right here. Um, so this is just made of cardboard. This is stuff I had on me. Later I'll get into more expensive ones, like my two best ones. I'll show you the next one I did. Actually, I think I did. I kind of went out of order a little bit. So... I'll show you my prototype foxy mask, but we'll get into my favorite one, the actual good foxy mask in a minute. So here it is. It's very um echoey in here. But oh yeah. Uh then we have Spring Bonnie, which is what I went as how went as on Halloween. A lot of people asked to take pictures of me. Like this is the one that I've actually showed you guys. I don't think I've shown any others to you guys, because this is the one I was working on at the time. His teeth are just made of EVA foam right here. This one's kind of coming loose. His eyelid, he's just made of, like, yellow fleece, uh, fabric. And I brushed him with, like, some gold paint. His nose is made of EVA foam. Eyes are ping pong balls and, like, green paint. His ears, I put a few wires in them. Make them look cooler and stabilize better, but that didn't really work well. Um, the inside of the head's just cardboard, and I'm gonna try to put this one on, too. Again, I still don't exactly know if the camera can see me. But I kind of see through these tiny gaps. My hair's all in the way, though. But. Oh. So, there's that guy. Looks like he wants to. 
bite someone? Well, he wants to eat my hand, but... Well, I painted that part with metal. I'm pretty happy about this one. So, I also have... I also have the whole costume here. We got the feet. I have my old shoes in there. They're kind of tight. We got the hands. I'll go ahead and try to slide that on. I don't know if it's covering the camera. I'll try to slide this hand on though. So, basically this is that. I've shown these in a video before. So basically that's that's it for Spring Bonnie. But then I also made like a little um mask for my cousin. It's a um Freddy mask. Here I'll go ahead and bring it in camera. So here is my little cousin's work in progress Freddy mask. His eyes are made out of the same thing as that thing as Rockstar Bonnie's eyes. EVA foam, EVA foam hat, ears with like foil on them, just give them a metal look. My mom thinks it looks pretty cute. He has like a little foam nose. But another costume I have that is a Freddy mask. Um, but it's my biggest mask that isn't. Like, even though it's so giant, it's not that expensive. It's my other Freddy mask. He's pretty. He's work in progress still, but. He has a little. His eyes are made out of uh, plastic spheres. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. His fur is pretty patchy and hot gluey. I think that's fine. His little nose. I wanted to put a squeaker in it just cause, and he looks a little bit uh tired. Anyway, um, my final mask is actually uh my most expensive mask and my favorite mask. It's my work in progress foxy mask. So this is my favorite. You probably see why. I think it's pretty cool. Um, this one costed. It costed a lot because unlike the cardboard ones, this guy is made of foam. This is my first ever like actually, actual project foam. Um, project. His ears. Pieces of his ears stick inside of here, and they're glued in. He's really soft. He's kind of hot. Here, I'll try putting him on. His... So. So he's not really done. Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. He's not really done. Uh, yet, yeah, because he doesn't have his bottom jaw, and also the head is very patchy, if you can't see, if you can't see or not. But, um, his eye patch lifts up. I want to put another eyeball in there. But, whenever I do, it makes the eye patch, like, eye patch, like, lift up a little bit. His strap's coming undone, his eye patch strap is. And... I don't know how this camera is, but... And yeah, so... I painted these... Last night. Got the ear. Both ears. The eye patch. Like I said, lifts up. Eyebrows. I want to make a system to move them. Snout. Which I'm really proud of. The snout. 
This eyeball is also made of one of those plastic spheres, and for the eyelid, I made I painted some EVA foam gray, like silverish gray. The weird thing about their his eyes though, they just stick in, so they could just pop out if I want them, but I don't really want them to be popped out. You can also move them how you want. But I think it's better, uh, like that. For things. I wanted to make them all matted up, but it didn't really work well. So I'll still need to put his um top teeth in. Oh. But that is all of my uh FNAF masks. So I'll show you some other things I forgot to mention, so so this is my workstation. My pictures. These guys, they sit up here. Another thing I forgot to mention about is I have Freddy's bottom jaw. It's not done. But there it is. Is it on his head? Nope. It's not going to work. Originally, I was going to be holding this knife that I made from the Spring Bunny costume, but I never held it in public on Halloween and stuff. Because I just thought holding it with my Spring Bunny fingers would be kind of tough, so. I think I did a good job. I made that a night I was sick, which was... The night, two nights after the FNAF movie released. So, it was the day before Halloween. So, I'll show you my um, animatron kind of parts and service drawer over here. So, we have a few random things like a oh, work in progress ear. My sister painted a Funtime Chica eyeball. That's also her, that's her circus baby eyeball. This was the original Freddy Fazbear nose. This was going to be one of his ears, but I changed my mind. And these are two little hinges for one of the jaws. And then up here we have my paint, some of my supplies, like these jaw hinges, um, and paint, some paint brushes. Finally, here's where I keep the, all the fabric that I have. Here's all my fabric for Foxy, all my red fabric. So we have, this was going to be for Bonnie, but I think it's a little bit too weird and blue. I think it is you a darker blue. This one was for Spring Bonnie, and I'm going to use it for Golden Freddy. And probably some for Chica. This one's going to be for her Chica. And this is some of my Freddy Snout stuff that I still have in here. So, right down here, I have my scrap bin with all my random foam that I could use, fabric, I don't know why I have glue in there, you know, just a bunch of stuff, some random cardboard pieces, this thing, so, yeah, pretty cool stuff, anyway, um, be sure to, I think I'm going to be, I hope I get an Oculus for Christmas. Some kind of VR thing so I could try to play Help Wanted 2. But I'll try to do some VR videos if I ever get one. But see you guys later. Uh, have a good day and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. 
and yeah, that's it. Goodbye, guys.